Hello Virgo. This is a general reading for a large audience. And although when I pray and prepare, I ask that each of you receives at least one message. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed over the cards and shuffled them. Uh, we're pulling from Doreen Virtue's Angel Tarot cards. And then also we're going to pull from the Doreen Virtue Life Purpose Oracle cards. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is they're saying this row is things that are going on. These are things that you can do to improve the situation. And this is what's crowning. And then they're going to let us know what that is here in, in a moment when we get to that one. So let's go ahead and get started. First card is Six of Air. And if you can see that, it says things are looking up the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So, so for many of you, what, the, what they're wanting you to know is, is you, you are near the end of a, a difficult situation. You um, are nearing the end so that you can begin a new beginning. So you can turn that chapter, finally reaching the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, for some of you, it, it's health-wise, um, maybe an illness that you've been battling. For some of you, it's a relationship, a potential relationship, a conflict in a current relationship. For some of you, it's leaving and moving on from a relationship where there's been conflict and strife. And they said for many of you for years. Um, and for some of you, dif a difficult situation at work, a more difficult situation as far as deciding to take an entrepreneurial spirit and, and leap toward um, something that you desire, a new business you desire to create. Um, but what they're saying is, is the end is in sight. Um, if you look closely, you can see, you know, you've got this horse in the boat. And what I get for, for many of you is, is you've been in this difficult situation for so long, you've gotten yourself so spun up with emotional turbulence and what do I do? Where do I go from here? What's my next step? that you've paralyzed yourself with fear and worry. Um, you can see, you know, it's almost like the, the horse is just about to leap over, leap out of the boat and leap over the edge. There's kind of like a waterfall here um, because it's almost like you see the waves of the water. There's been a lot of emotional turbulence. I get a sense that many of you, you're just, you know, wondering, is this ever going to end? Um, and a lot of you, you've gotten yourself so spun up and overthinking and overanalyzing and not taking the action that you've gotten yourself stuck. Many of you are, are like in your own way. So for some of those, some of you that are in the situation where it's with a lover um, and there's been turbulence for years, um, lying, cheating, stealing, deception, you know that it's time for you to move on, but you're afraid to take that leap. You're afraid to jump out of the boat and take that leap out of fear. But what they're saying is the one that they have for you is already there and waiting, um, but you're gonna have to take that leap. For some of you, actually I get that is for many of you, it, regardless of your situation, be it at work, taking that leap to have that conversation with your, your supervisor, be it taking that leap to start your own business. Those of you that are in a, you know, situation where you're looking to start a new relationship, taking that leap to have that conversation, open up, share your feelings, because I get, for those of you, it's, it, it's fear. Um, what they're saying is all of the situations what's holding you back is fear. You're paralyzed with fear. Um, and you've overthought it. You've thought it, you know, backward, forward, in and out. You know what the decision is. It's just time for you to leap and take, take the leap. Because that's what's going to get you at the end of the tunnel to stop keeping yourself stuck in misery. Because they've laid the foundation for you to take that leap and jump forward. You've been getting a lot of guidance and information, but you have to take the leap, they're saying. Next card is King of Fire motivational, idealistic, charismatic, if you can read the bottom of it. It says, focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So what they're saying is to, to get yourself out of this situation, to get yourself on the other end, to get out into the light, that you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you're gonna have to take the leap to do that. You're gonna have to go full steam ahead. It's time for you to devote your energy, your time um, to the task at hand, to the decision at hand, to, to having those conversations, to taking that leap, to you know having a discussion with your supervisor about a promotion or trying to resolve the conflict. Um, letting that ex that's holding you from the, the future partner, letting them finally go because um, it's really, really not good for you. For those of you looking to start the new business, to let the financial worries go and just take that leap and go for it. 
if you look here, so you've got the, it's red, it's fire, um, kings, kings have their, their act together. So it's almost like they're saying, you know, you've done all the thinking, you've analyzed it, you, you know what you need to do. It's time now to um, be like a king who has their act together. They are in power, they are in control. Um, they make things happen. It's time for you to make things happen. If you can see there, he's sitting on top of a, a dragon. And what they're saying is it's time for you to slay your fears, slay your dragons, and move forward. The fire suit, it, it talks about, you know, our, our ideas, our inspirations. Um, it also talks about taking action. And because you have to take those actions to, to set your dreams into motion, um, to make them happen, to get yourself stuck out of being in misery. Because again, a number of you, you've just been miserable. And it's not just been miserable for a couple weeks. You've been miserable for months and for many of you, years. And they're trying to get you to move forward to get out of that. They're encouraging you to slay the dragon, slay those fears, move forward fearlessly. You have nothing to worry. And funny, the next card that we have is the High Priestess. And if you can read the bottom of that, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. Now, that's a major arcana card, which you know those represent major life changes. So it's coming back to the to the intuitive information you've been receiving. Because a lot of you, you you've gotten intuitive information for months. I, I get some of you, you've heard songs on the radio, some of you, you have the person's name come up. Some of you are actually your your intuitive seeing, knowing, hearing, feeling skill sets have actually been increasing. Um, and, and it's kind of actually worried some of you. They're saying to not be worried that that's actually there to benefit you and help you. But they've been giving you a lot of intuitive guidance, helping you make this decision. Because it's a major life decision. It's, it's a catalyst. So they're trying to push you in that direction because it's, it's meant to be. That decision, it's a big life changer. It is what's gonna be the catalyst that takes you out of misery into that happiness, that bliss, that joy, brings you all those things that you desire, which is why they've been trying to give you the intuitive information for so long, trying to get you to take that leap because it's a sure deal. It's meant to be. It's watched over by the heavens. So they keep trying to nudge you and push you and push you and push you, but you keep staying stuck and not taking the leap. So, so they're encouraging you to take that leap. And, and for those of you, that, many of you that are afraid to take the leap, it's because it's an emotional thing. Because they're saying that it's really tied to your, to your feelings, to your emotions that are keeping you stuck. Um, fear of failure, fear of disappointment, fear of um, reliving the past but you don't have those things to worry about. You have to trust your intuition. You have to trust that, that psychic intuitive information that you've been getting because you've been getting it for a reason. And some of you have been getting some um, intuitive guidance in your dreams as well. There's a reason. They're trying to accurately guide you to your meant to be, to your happiness, to your bliss. It's a big deal. It's a life changer for you. It's what's going to completely turn your life around. Um, and oftentimes this card for some well, you know, sometimes it means like not taking action right now, taking time to get more insight, but they're saying that that is not at all the case because um, they're showing me how they're, they're, they're frustrated. They're frustrated because they see what lies on the other side for you, the happiness that they've laid out for you because it is a divinely watched over job, relationship, partnership. Um, they have things so much better for you but you're keeping yourself stuck. So, so it is not a time to wait because you've already done all the, all the analysis. You've already done all the thinking. They keep giving you all the signs. It's time to slay those fears, which for many of you are tied to emotions and feelings, to slay those so that you can move forward. And then the next row are things that they're saying that you can do to help improve the situation. So we have four of air. Bottom of it says, time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So if you see here, you can see that there's a horse resting. There's two horses. Um, they're saying you have to make a decision. For many of you, you're trying to decide between two things. Um, you're trying to decide between two people. You're trying to decide between two jobs. For some of you, it's not even two different jobs. It's, it's trying to make the choice between, do I stay here or do I go somewhere else? Um, and they just pointed out to me that one one horse is darker, one horse is lighter. Okay, so what they're saying is, so there's those of you that, you know, you're trying to make the decision between, do I, you know, go with him or do I go with the other guy? Um, do I, you know, which which partner do I choose? Or do I, do I stay with my company? 
where I'm unhappy or do I start my own new business? They're saying you know which one is the right one for you, the, the lighter one, the one of love, the one that brings you joy and happiness. You also know which is the wrong decision for you because that's what's kept you miserable. So when you're trying to decide between the two, do a t-chart. And they said you don't even really need to because <laughs> they're saying you already have. You've already overthought it actually. And, um, but you already know. You already know which one is the darker one that's not meant for you, which one is the lighter one that divine meant to be. So, but they're saying if you want, do a final meditation to just confirm the intuitive stuff you've been getting for a long time and act. The main message they're saying for you is you have to make a decision and to move forward. Um, because again, this is the, the, the foundation, the things that are going on. These are the things that are going to get you out of it. Um, so in order to get yourself out of this, you have to make a decision is what they're encouraging you to do. Because you don't want to stay stuck in misery and unhappiness and uh, the emotional turbulence. Um, because they're saying since it's so emotionally tied and emotionally charged, you already know the decision to make, but it, it's hard because it's so emotionally charged for you to make that decision. But you've got to trust um, because the bliss and happiness that awaits you on the other side, it, when, you, when you finally make that decision and move forward, you're going to wish that you made it months ago. So go for it. Go for it. Trust. The next card we have is King of Earth. Generous, professional, responsible, practical. At the bottom it says, a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas Touch. And again, it's a king. You know, kings are powerful. Kings have their act together. Kings are decisive. Kings make decisions. They act on things. Um, and then everything unfolds for them. If you look here, you, you, you see butterflies and flowers, and he's just sitting on this ornate throne. And there's a, a rainbow in the background. Everything, the treasures, they just said the treasures that you desire, everything that you desire on the other side of the rainbow is contingent on this big decision because again major arcana major arcana it's a huge huge catalyst in your life it, it this the situation it's not small it's it's a big deal but they they said they said you are the king now for ladies out there okay you're the queen <laughs> let's not make it gender specific but whether you're a male or a female you are the king you're the queen you have the power you have the power in you. You also have all the knowledge to have your act together. You, you have lots of abundance, lots, lots of gifts all there. You just need to make your choice between the two. For some of you, that there's not a choice between two, it's just one. You've got to make that choice. You've got to act. You've got to take the leap. Trust. Because again, they keep saying they've been giving you a lot of guidance. It's like you're stubbornly, they're showing me like stubbornly burying your head in the sand. You're, you're stubbornly ignoring them. Um, and, and they keep watching you be unhappy and miserable. And, it, and all it is is you to get yourself out of it. Because you already know. But, but they're saying again, stubbornly refusing to move forward. Why would you not want happiness when that awaits you and it's divinely watched over? Um, they're saying to trust that. Let, let the things go. Trust and move forward um, so that you can be the king sitting on your throne. And what they're really saying with this, it's guaranteed success. They're saying it, it's, it's, so foundation, things you can do to get out of all of this stress, emotional turbulence, unhappiness, frustration. Um, the, the action steps for you are number one, make your decision. Number two, trust and know that it is going to be successful. There's, there's no other way around it. It is guaranteed to be successful. You have to trust that. You have to have faith in that. You have to have the, the positive knowing, confidence in that. Um, because if you, if you make the decision, but you move forward doubting, oh my gosh, is this going to go, is this going to go wrong? Is something going to happen? Am I making the right choice? Am I not making the right, the right choice? You're not going to feel confident and you can't by the law of attraction affect the outcome. But the outcome can't be affected with this. It is truly washed over by the heavens. All you need to do is get in the mindset of knowing this meant to be this joy, this happiness, this bliss awaiting you. It's meant to be. It's definitely going to be successful. There's nothing you can do wrong. The only thing you need to do is make your decision and take the leap. And uh, they said they've taken care of everything else. 
and crowning um, they're saying this is the crowning card so crowning everything we have 11 and it's strength and if you can read the bottom of it it says great inner strength release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion and what they're saying is, and they're not talking about strength as far as, you know, just continue to be strong and persevere and keep pushing through the, the pain and the frustration and um, isolation. They're saying isolation. Um, some of you have isolated yourself because of this, because you don't want to make a decision between two jobs, two people, or just one. So you don't want to make a decision. You don't want to deal with the emotions. You're ignoring all the guidance that you're getting. You've done a T-chart, but you've just isolated yourself. Um, I'm getting that a lot of you have just you've truly isolated yourself at home where you've just overanalyzed and overthought everything and, and you've just caused yourself more emotional turbulence so they want you to know that this they are not talking strength just keep pushing through it and, and allowing yourself to just sit in that situation that that does not serve you what they're saying is it, it's not strength for that it's strength as far as compassion um, kindness um, forgiveness, gentleness toward yourself. Because a lot of you, hold on one second, I'm going to get some clarity from them. So they're saying you are the king. You need to remember you're the king. Um, there have been past circumstances that have made you doubt yourself, past hurts, things people have said that made you feel unworthy, unworthy of love. Um, unworthy of a relationship, unworthy of, a, of the dream job, um, not capable of doing those things, doubting your own, your own value, your worth. They're saying it's time for you to remember that. Because I get for a number of you, those, those feelings and those doubts were brought on by someone else, be it a ex-spouse, ex-lover, a, a harsh, critical supervisor. Um, but their words and their actions stung and they left a mark on you and they made you doubt your value. You are the queen. Remember that. Have strength in showing yourself compassion so that you can remember that. Because I get that those of you that this is applicable for, I get that you beat yourself up. I get when you're sitting, you're all isolated and you're overanalyzing and then you've got your angels poking you, <laughs> trying to get you to move forward, trying to shove you off the, off the ledge. Um, you just keep doubting yourself. You don't think you're worthy of it. You don't think you're capable. You beat yourself up um, for things you did, things you didn't do. Um, and you're terrified of going through that again. But you're keeping yourself stuck in it because you, you, you won't be kind to yourself. You won't forgive yourself. They're saying to have the strength to forgive yourself once and for all. There's, uh, they're saying there's nothing that you could have done to change how things turned out. So for some of you, maybe you gave it your all to a job. You gave everything you had to the job. And, and you you've by far surpassed all of your peers. And yet, your supervisor still rode you all the time. And ultimately, you ended up getting terminated. So now with, you know, you've got a dream job you're thinking about. But you're, you're terrified to take that step. Because you were really good at what you did. But it just didn't turn out as you expected. It didn't turn out well. There's nothing you could have done. It was going to turn out as it, as it did because it was meant to be that way. And they're saying, um, okay. They're saying for some of you, there's a, a relationship triangle that's going on right now. Um, they're, they're, I can point out, you have to forgive my nails. I was at a firing range and I beat myself all up and they're still too sore to go see my manicurist. So <laughs> you're gonna get to see my beat up nails up close and personal. So. They're saying, you know which person's wrong for you, you know which person's right for you. Um, and those of you that are in the love triangle, the person that you know is not right for you, they're saying, they're saying the person that's not right for you is the person who hurt you in the first place. So I get, okay, well hopefully this makes sense to some of you. What, what they're saying is, for those of you that are in the, the relationship triangle, um, the person that hurt you is also one of the people that you're trying to make a decision between. Um, but they're saying that's the person who, who hurt you, made you doubt yourself, um, and, and it's doubting and making you continue to beat yourself up. Think you're not worthy, not capable, not, um, not lovable, um, 
So they're saying to not believe that person. Um, you know that person wasn't meant to be. And, and the same thing is, is in the job situation they're saying. They're saying that you could have been the absolute best wife um, ever. And, and, and they're saying you were. You gave the relationship your all. Even when it broke up, you still gave it your all. Everything you had, even for years during the relationship, after the relationship, you just dedicated everything that you could. You weren't going to change it. You know, he, she, were, they were still going to do that. They were still going to treat you that way. It had nothing to do with you. It had to do with them karma-wise. And, and, it, and it was a lesson also for you to learn to love yourself because you did nothing wrong. It was all part of the plan, part of the path to get you to a place of loving yourself, forgiving yourself, so that they can bring your divine meant to be other half in. Um, and, they're, and they're saying for some of you, you're, it's not a love triangle. They're saying for some of you, same situation where you had a past lover or spouse who really tore you down. They said harsh, cruel words. They cheated on you. They lied. They stole. Um, and that, that left a permanent mark. And now you've got this love of your life waiting there for you and trying to make the decision whether to move forward with her, him, but you're terrified to take the leap out of the boat because you keep beating yourself up. So they're saying for all of you that this is a message for um, because it, it goes across regardless of, of the situation of the work, the love life, the relationship. You have to forgive yourself. And that's what they're saying. Have the strength to face your fears, face the emotions, and, and to forgive yourself. Be compassionate with yourself. Love yourself. Know that this is guaranteed success. There's no way you can do anything to mess it up. It's meant to be. It's watched over by the heavens. All you need to do is love yourself. Have confidence in yourself again. Forgive yourself and trust so that you can move forward. Oh, and they said in their other action step, besides trusting, knowing, make a decision. They, they, they're being very firm with make a decision. Because the longer you, you don't make that decision, the longer you're gonna be stuck in an unhappy place. And then um, for some of you, the opportunities that you have, you could ultimately end up losing out on those opportunities. So you don't wanna do that. Make a decision, move forward, trust. Know how amazing you are, forgive yourself. And forgive others. So they weren't good people. That's, that has nothing to do with you. But just forgive them, let them go, let the situation go, um, move forward. And they're giving me another message. So, come to that in a second. So some of you are facing a health decision. Um, so they're saying some of you are trying to make a decision regarding your your health. Um, you don't have any real serious health issues at this time. Um, but they, they keep giving you a nudge to do something. Um, they keep giving you a nudge to give up alcohol, give up drugs, to give up sugar. Uh, for some of you, give up meat. They're trying to get you to do this healthy lifestyle change to, to keep you from having a serious health issue. Um, so they're saying to have the strength to listen to that and make that choice and make that healthy lifestyle change. Give those things up um, because they are, they're going to help you with it. That's why they keep giving you the guidance. Um, and just trust, have the strength, go for it. And for some of you, they're saying that um, that lifestyle change, that giving something up, giving up some addiction, um, some substance, even that is partly, even that's tied to you forgiving yourself having compassion with yourself, um, being kind with yourself. Because I get, for some of you, you even beat yourselves up. Um, like, like I'm getting for some of you, you throw yourselves into drinking to get away from emotions of things that you, that you beat yourself up about. Um, so things that have happened in your past, in life, um, that you just keep replaying in your head and you keep beating yourself up over. Um, you throw yourself into drinking or recreational drugs, um, overeating. You throw yourself into those things to avoid those emotions, to not heal. Um, 
and boiled all down to not love yourself and forgive yourself. So, last card is, that's funny. So they told me when I pulled this, they said, leave it upside down. <laughs> and they said that, flip it at the end. Um, so they're just reaffirming what they've already been saying is that you've been getting a lot of information. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. And again, Major Arcana, this is, this is a huge catalyst in your life. This is a game changer. That is why you've had so much divine guidance, divine help there with you every step of the way that you've not listened to. Instead, you've kept yourself in a place of worry, doubting, fear, stress. So this is a reminder for you that, that you need to ask your angels for help in all areas, this is for anyone, and for all of you in all your various situations, for all of you to trust. Um, because I've been helping you a long time and you know that, but you've allowed yourself to continue worrying, continue complaining, continue doubting, um, and it's not improving your situation. It's not helping you at all. It's actually, for many of you, making it worse. Because just by law of attraction, if you're beating yourself up all the time about things that happened in the past and you're afraid that those bad things are going to happen again and, and you're afraid that, oh my gosh, if I take the job, I'm going to be a complete flop and you keep repeating and playing that untrue message, those things that are not real, you're playing that, it's, it, they're saying it's made up in your head. If you keep playing that made up in your head false record, you're bringing those things to fruition. You're going to bring those to fruition. So. They're saying, although you've doubted and those things have kept you from taking that leap, because of law of attraction and how you worry and doubt and fret and, and beat yourself up, you've noticed things in, in, in your life kind of take a downhill slide. This is your opportunity to get yourself moving back upward. Um, because again, it's a, it's a catalyst. It's life in tunnel. It's the blessings that you've wanted. It's, it's your treasure at the end of the rainbow. But you have to stop worrying. So say you have financial concerns instead of sitting and thinking to yourself you know i don't know i'm going to pay my bills i'm never going to have the money to pay my bills instead it should be you know thank you god for providing me the financial abundance in order to care for myself and my family and 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 when you find yourself thinking negatively if you shift your prayer shift your thoughts to that positive that place of gratitude um optimism notice how your life shifts because it will shift for the better um, and they're also saying free will. So they're saying they've been talking to you. Oh, oh my gosh, this is going to be a long one. Okay, we should be done soon. They're saying that um, they've been giving you guidance for a very long time. You have not been listening to the guidance. You have not been acting on the guidance. Um, and that's your choice. God gives us free will. Um, and for those of you that you know don't believe in God and you can replace it with whatever resonates with your heart be it higher power um, but for me it's God so it's what I will stick with in all of my readings but I don't take offense feel free to uh, swap that out with what resonates with you um, but God gives us free will and we all have angels we all have at least one guardian angel with us our entire life that even if they're here when we're born they help us cross back over to the other side when we leave the earth um, but they cannot step in to help us at all unless it's life or death because we have free will and and they've been nudging you they've been pushing you they've been guiding you they've been trying to <laughs> they're showing me almost almost as though they are your angels are back here and they've been wanting to kick you <laughs> over the waterfall to finally push you over the edge to get you to your happiness that's awaiting you um but they can't do that you have to do that um all they can do is give you all the guidance. They can keep giving you those nudges. They can keep giving you the assistance and push and, and trying to urge you to take those action steps, to make that decision, to be kind and loving to yourself again. And be confident knowing this is, it's meant to be. It's guaranteed success. Absolutely nothing's going to go wrong with this. That's why they've been pushing you for so long. And they're saying they've already got it lined up which is why you already know what the decision is. They say they've already lined it up for you. All you have to do is trust and take that step. Stop worrying. Let the worry go. It's, 
it's divinely ordained it's protected it is meant to be there is no way that it's going to go wrong and you know that in your heart they're saying you know that because they're they're saying that for those of you that this is applicable regardless of your situation be it work love um you have literally sat in emotional turmoil turbulence unhappiness overthinking over analyzing for a very very long time and they have given you so much guidance that you know what the right decision is and they don't provide that much divine guidance and push unless it really is going to change our life for the better finally bring us those dreams and hopes and things that we've been praying for our whole life i wish you the strength to love yourself forgive yourself be kind to yourself the, i wish you the strength to make your decision to make the decision knowing you will be successful slay those dragons and take the leap so you can move forward into your happiness and i can't wait to hear how it turns out so any feedback that you have please feel free to leave some comments below many thanks to everyone for subscribing i do appreciate it i do love hearing back from all of you fill with a lot of love joy and blessings